and Centennial, the three seed, taking on the number six seed, Anoka Tornados, on Saturday. Centennial, they've beaten Anoka twice already this season by a combined score of 12 to three. In the first, Hannah Backman lets the shot fly. Annika Linzer finishes it off with a rebound at 10-37. The only goal of the first period, but don't worry. Second period, there was plenty of scoring. Power play, opening minute of the second. Wasting no time, Claire Riley cleans up with the goal. Linzer and Gabby Hughes on the assist. Two nothing Cougars. We're not done. Other lines get involved a minute later. Allison Pitlick into the zone. Rebound put in by Lizzie Prato. Makes it 3 0. Another power play chance. McKenna Golner rifles it in. Ooh. Little deflection in front. Golner the goal. 4 0 Cougars. Then check out this play from Gabby Hughes. Taking on all defenders. You cannot stop Gabby weaving in. Taking the shot, tickling the twine, scoring the goal, Gabby Hughes. 5-0, another look at this one. Oh, Gabby, 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 gotta love it. They score six goals in the second, seven won the final. Um, It was a complete team effort. There was like all sticks there and everyone just had a team effort and put it in and it doesn't really matter who scored it. We were just too excited to even remember who did. <laughs> In the locker room, we were just so proud of ourselves for coming out because sometimes we have a little bit of a bad start, and today we had a great start, and we just build off of that, and we didn't want our seniors to have their last game tonight. Good news. More games for the seniors and the rest of the Cougals. They advanced I, to the semifinals. If I scored that off, and I would forget if it was me. Yeah. yeah. I don't even know. I think I scored a couple. Could be know. two, four, yeah. six. Who knows? Yeah. They won by a lot, and they did. that was... One side of the bracket, 